Why did the chicken cross the road? To get away from its oppressor. <laughs> I decided to do a everyday version of Lily Rose Depp's natural makeup and if you want to know how I did it just keep watching. So for Lily's skin, it's pretty matte most of the time with a really glowy pink flush cheek. So I'm going to put on a little bit of this unseen sunscreen to give me some silky texture to work with. my Lila B <clears throat> Marvelous Matte Foundation. I'm going to use a flat head foundation brush to put it on. This looks like it's way too dark for me. This is the Pure. Probably is, but I'm just going to test. I think I'll just use a little bit just to give myself a, a tan on my face. Okay, medium beige, satin finish camo concealer. I'm gonna highlight my under eye with light beige. It's probably way too much. Oh yeah, that's a lot. It's turning into a Instagram makeup tutorial. Medium brown. Brow cream. Lengthen the brow. lifts everything up. Sometimes this brow color is just a little bit too light on its own, so I'll mix in espresso. <gasps> Peggy! Hope on top of my brow to make them even thicker without making them darker. So they're so much thicker, not necessarily darker. Wow brow and medium brown. I'm going to use a little bit of this eyeshadow primer from this Dior palette. Okay, I'm using this color, which is a really pretty shimmery taupe. 
And I'm gonna go in really lightly with a fluffy brush and just buff it on. Love that. shadow shape um foxing the eye out or cat eyeing that shadow shape small morphe m515 brush i'm gonna give myself the smallest drop shadow with witness To do my super um, highlighted under eye look with Lila B B Vibrant. That's what you want. Fox eyes, everyone is calling it. my favorite black eyeliner zero by urban decay and I'm gonna carefully line top and bottom okay so the key to lining um, the top of my lash line is I'm going to tight line it it's gonna give the illusion that I went all the way on top sharpen it again. Clean, thick black line with the black eye eyeshadow. And just press this tiny fan brush into my lash line. So wants attention. <laughs> Can we stop? Can we stop? I'm gonna line the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with this tiny little brush and Right here, I'm just going to blend that shape. 
out so it's more flattering to my eye shape. Little bit of my Rodan. She always has a really pretty shimmery glossy lid in the center. My lash just super precise. I have these in my kit, these tiny, tiny mascara wands. And I'm gonna use my Iago Lash Alert I'm like this to just get really precise. And this is just coat number one. A little bit of Frisk and a little bit of this Primal shade with a really fluffy brush. contouring first not too far in this will look chalky this brush is rattling on its deathbed go ahead and go under one more time that very snatched look here My Fenty Beauty Mocha Match Stick and this stippling brush. I'm not gonna go really far down because I want it to look as natural as possible. She also like she con she has contour, but it's so she has the most incredible cheekbones. So I'm not gonna go too far in. And this is just like my normal foundation.
And just to intensify my cheek a little bit more, I want to go in with a little bit more cheek contour. Kevin Aquan. Where I'm gonna do this gorgeous shade by Kosas called called Rosewater. She has very like cupy lips, so I'm gonna make that really rounded shape. This is really pink. I'm gonna go on top with. Two different lip liners. Cute Love, which is a taupey brown, and she kind of covers her cupid's bow, so I'm gonna do that. Colors in the corners of her lip. So that's just gonna be the base layer for all of this lining. And then I'm gonna go in with Sweetheart, which is super taupey brown. And then I'm gonna go in with an even darker brown. She's hanging on. Okay. So again, just like focusing right here. Pretty much the gist, and I'm going to take a Q-tip to blend it.